It's gonna be a pretty simple build. I bought this super fake shifter. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Oh, I haven't had time to ride this year and I miss it. I miss it a lot. That's why today we are finally building this bike here or this frame. It's gonna be a pretty simple build. We're gonna put exactly what we need on it so that we can have a little bit of fun. It's gonna be simple 100 millimeter travel on the rear and 120 on the front. We have some interesting parts ready to put on the bike so let's begin first thing we're gonna do is actually build the rear triangle i bought some new bolts here i also put this bolt in the freezer for a few hours so it slides in a bit easier in the hole here we have the other pieces down there we have some um, grease we're gonna need a torque wrench later on to torque everything to spec and that should be it I will get my bolt, I will just put a bit of grease, put this through, here we have the bolt for the other side, I'm gonna use a ratchet just to make things quicker, next piece, this goes over here, First slide in the boat, then the spacer, do the same on the other side, again with my ratchet. Now I'm gonna do the quickest uh, service on a Fox shock. Actually, I have two shocks for this frame, but I think I'm gonna go with the Fox. I don't know either of these Fox if they work or not, but I'll try to do my best. I just got some Fox fold oil. I'll take this apart, just clean it inside, put the oil in, and we'll see how it goes on the first ride. Okay, now we have everything pretty clean. The only thing left is I should put some fresh SRAM butter on the seals, both here and here. Fill it up with foot and we're gonna be ready to put it back on the bike. To put the shock back on the bike I'll start at the bottom and on one side I'm gonna use the bow to hold this washer in and on the other side I'm gonna use this sharpie to hold it in place. And now I can put the shock. Okay. Now everything is aligned. I can slide in the lower arm. Push this through. Then tighten it on the other side. washer and nut. Now for the back part we have this, uh, these are actually old bolts so I'm gonna put a little bit of thread walker on them and slide them in. Again one washer, slide the bolt through, same on the other side. And okay, okay, this is starting to look like a bike again. The next thing I want to do is put on the fork, which is sitting right here. We did a full service in one of the previous videos. We're gonna also put the stem and the handlebars, some basic RSP stem and handlebars that I had laying around. And then we're gonna move to the more exciting things like brakes and drivetrain.
I'm so happy with how this bike is starting to look. So now let's talk drivetrain and brakes. Okay, for the brakes, we're going with the good old Shimano XT. I serviced this in one of my other videos. Uh, so we're going with this front and rear. We're going to be using some old pads. I don't know what's the condition of them, but we'll see. Maybe we'll change them after the first ride. For the drivetrain, we are actually going with a box 8 speed drivetrain with Shimano XT crank that I've painted. It's not the best paint job, but it will do the trick. We can always change it later on. We have a good 8 speed. A chain to go with it. I bought this um, super fake shifter because I couldn't find anything for 8 speed that's actually in a good deal. But we're gonna use this for now. We have brand new derailleur hanger. We have a snail 32 tooth chain rig which should fit in very nicely with everything. So, yeah, exciting! Let's get these parts on. Now it's time for the wheels. On the back we have a Mavic with racing Ralph. Now I'm gonna put in the cassette. This hub is very has a very nice sound, so it should be quite cool when I'm going down the trails. For the front we have again Mavic, but this time it's 717, and this time we're going with the Maxis. High rower. I also got these discs. They're again from Snail. They look a bit like Hope discs, and I think they will go pretty well with the bike. Let's put the back wheel on and we can start looking into the chain. Wow, we found the straight point from the first try. The chain goes directly between uh, the fourth and the fifth uh, chain ring on the cassette, which is perfect. Now, next thing will be. I have to uh, I have to get a chain for the derailleur. Use my chain tool to connect it, and we can start routing the cables for the shifter. And we are almost done. And we finally have everything hooked up. We can spin this rear wheel and hear this lovely sound from the rear hub. 
The routing for the gear spider is the thing it goes under the bottom bracket from here and goes out of here, goes to the derailleur. However, there seems to be an issue with the gears, doesn't want to go into the high gears here. Probably I need to shorten the chain a bit more, but it's already late today. I'll catch you all tomorrow.